a large part of the story of Othello is about the world of the professional army, the world of the, the garrison uh, and, and the professional military as a world apart from civilian life. And this is very much an important story evolving in Shakespeare's day. Armies are getting larger and the emphasis is moving away from the mounted, armored cavalrymen of the Middle Ages, the knight, and much more toward infantrymen, and above all, infantrymen wielding gunpowder weapons. Uh, muskets are becoming increasingly powerful and effective during the latter part of the 1500s, and this example you can see here from the 1600s uh, is characteristic of the kind of weapon that was being carried by the, the, the majority of, of soldiers by the latter part of Shakespeare's life and uh, deployed in large numbers by, uh, by infantrymen hurling lead against uh, the, the opponents on the field, these increasingly were determining the outcome of battle. And in order to manipulate them effectively, you needed to have well-trained and well-commanded troops. So books like this uh, Manual of Drill were being published during Shakespeare's lifetime to teach commanders how to train their men in the latest methods of warfare.